Lair List is the legend for your Map Studio session. Always visible in Lair List is polygons, lines, and points, and these can be turned on or off using the checkboxes. You can see as you add landscapes and model outputs to Map Studio, these are added to Lair List. You can use the arrow to the left of the feature or the layer to display more information. In the top right, there's also a choice to turn all layers on, all layers off, and expand all layers or collapse all layers. You can hide and reveal various features with the checkbox to the left of the feature. For additional controls, there is the More Option button to the right. For rasters, the options include Apply a Mask, which allows you to constrain the area that you're viewing based on a mask. You can zoom to the area, adjust the transparency, or move the layer up or down in Layer List. There's also a help link that provides information for the type of landscape or model output that you're viewing. For shape files, the more options include zoom to, adjust transparency, disable or enable pop-up, where you can left click and see information on the area that you clicked, move up or move down, open the attribute table. There is also an option to create a shapefile subset. For example, if I have a large shapefile with several features and I want to create a subset with just a few of these features, I can use that create shapefile subset option. That will bring up the attribute table. And I can left click to the far left of the rows for the features that I want. And we can see these are being highlighted. I'm going to hold down control, highlight multiple rows, and select save selection as shapefile. Give it a name and select the folder to store it in and click save and add to map. And if I close the attribute table, Turn off our large shape file and leave our subset turned on. You can see that now we have a subset of just those rows that I had highlighted and chose to save as the subset. And those are the features for the layer list widget.